Hello and welcome to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons. Today I'm going to be smoking the swag Puro Dominicano. This is a six and a half by 52 fierce, it's called. This is a Dominican Puro or Puro. Uh, it is all Dominican tobaccos. It's all Habano seed Dominican Lahiro, actually. It's a Habano Lahiro Dominican wrapper with a Habano Lahiro Dominican binder and fillers. It's a beautiful reddish, reddish brown wrapper. Got some very light veins in there, visible veins, but very thin light ones, very very tight seams, two bands, there's a little one at the bottom that says Puro Dominicano, and of course the Swag Cigar Lifestyle Band at the top. Um, I have so many cigars in my humidors that I want to do reviews on sometimes I have a hard time picking out the selection for the day and uh, uh, it was between this and I had an Alec Bradley uh, black market vandal and I had a Zeno Platinum and when I thought back about the first time I tried a swag cigar when it first came out I was really impressed by it great cigar so I looked it up uh, found a website there was an email contact on there so I wrote in a little note to how great I, uh, the cigar tasted and how impressed I was with and uh, Rafael Nodal the creator of swag cigars uh, I responded to me directly that was the first my first contact with a, a real cigar guy and uh, wrote back a really nice return email to me and, and it was very personal and he was very uh, thankful and very gracious you know about receiving my compliments and I was really seriously impressed by that so that's why I chose the swag for today this is a torpedo I'm going to cut, uh, I have found from experience it's better to cut the tip on your torpedo a little closer to the end and then reclip it if it's not a big enough draw for you than to cut too much and have it unravel. I've never had a swag unravel on me though. Cold draw. It's a taste of sweet. It looks like a cornbread flavor. Sweet bread. Mm. Smells like dry hay. Tastes like sweet bread. Let's see how it smokes. Uh, I've tried I believe all of the varieties of swag except one and uh, I really like the swag black it's a very potent full bodied cigar rich rich coffee earth a little nuttiness on the finish and a 
a little bit of spice there. This is starting out uh, very well. Uh, I have smoked these before. I've not had a torpedo yet. I bought a five pack of these. Uh, usually I buy the Toros with a round cap. And uh, but I bought the five pack and the torpedo this time for a change of pace. It's a little bit longer, it's a six and a half by 52 versus a 6 by 54 Toro so I figured maybe the little bit of length and a little bit of uh, smaller ring gauge would be a difference in the smoke so we'll find out ooh there's the spice took a couple puffs there but I was expecting that the hero blasts a spice on the first retro hail, but took a couple puffs, but there it is. It's having a nice, strong coffee flavor. It's an earthy, uh, rich, earthy, texturous property to the smoke. Although it's very smooth and a nice peppery finish. course we're just at the beginning so things are liable to change but I'm going to work my way through the first portion here and we'll be back to talk about it. Okay back with the swag Puro Dominicano. Uh, a little bit of a wave in the burn there. Uh, i got a about three quarters, almost an inch of ash on here. And I did lose about a half inch of ash earlier. It just split and fell off. Uh, I'm not really worried about that burn. Looks like it's going to straighten out. This thing has some, some good flavors in the first third. Uh, started off with that blast of coffee and that blast of spice. A little bit of nuttiness. Uh... All those flavors remained. And there's also a sweet, creamy, uh, kind of an underlying creamy flavor. And there's some cedar in there too, tasting. Very nice. Medium, medium body, medium strength. Uh, the spices, it's a mild spice. It's not too, uh, it's not blast like the uh, the initial <laughs> couple puffs were there uh, but that spice lays on the back of your tongue in the finish and it just stays there it's, uh, it's quite pleasant good smoke so far As I said, uh, I've smoked uh, quite a few of the Swag cigars, and I don't have a, a Swag Black right now in my humidor. I think I smoked the last one a few weeks ago, and I did not do a review on it. I was out on a Saturday evening, and I smoke that one uh, but I can tell you and this is a, a medium medium to full at best strength wise uh, if you like a really flavorful peppery strong cigar the swag black is a good choice eventually I'll get around to getting another one of those and I'll, I'll do a review on it and see exactly what kind of flavors I come up with for it and you know these flavors I'm coming up with you may smoke one of these and get something totally different everybody's palate is different um, flavors are 
subjective. Um, there's so many things that go into drawing tastes out of these, and uh, you, you tend to latch on to the things that are familiar, and then you try to put your finger on those ones. You just can't place the taste. It's something that, uh, you know, it's on the tip of your tongue, and you just can't figure that out. But, yeah, that's the whole fun of it. It's, it's nice to try to figure out these new flavors. And, you know, I've often thought of making a list of, you know, going through different review sites and just writing down all the different adjectives and the different tastes and the different flavors that people come up with. So when I get one of those moments where, wow, oh, uh, there's something there but I can't put my finger on it maybe I could look at that list and say oh that's what it tastes like but I haven't gotten around to doing that maybe someday <laughs> anyway I digress creamy cedary Nice coffee flavor base, nutty, kind of like baking spice, nutty spice finish. Off to a great start. Going to work into the second, third here, and I'll be back to see what happens. Okay, welcome back <clears throat> to the cigar area with the swag. Puro Dominicano. Had to show you this ash. Burns a little curvy there, but no touch ups required. I just love it when I get an ash to hang on that long, but I'm gonna, as much as I hate to do it, I'm gonna tap it off because I don't want it to fall in my lap. Okay, the second portion of the cigar, much the same as the first, except the coffee flavor has tapered off and the cedar has become much more pronounced, and the the uh, spice on the finish, less nutty, less baking spice, more of a white pepper, so it's pretty much a creamy cedar with a white pepper finish still medium very flavorful really nice really nice smoke I'm really enjoying this uh, but I was having fun with that ash trying to uh, smoke it without losing it did a pretty good job The draw on the cigar is really nice. I cut, you know, generally, depending on how long the tip of the torpedo is, um, you know, most of the uh, online cigar instructions for cutting the cigar will tell you to cut a quarter inch off. Well, I cut more than that. Um, let's see. About three eighths, a little, little yeah. less than half an inch, and uh, but it, it's developed uh, a nice draw, no heat, no residue. So I'm going to take it into the final third, see what progresses. I'll be back. Okay, back <clears throat> in the final third of the swag Puro Dominicano fairly straight burn a little curvy but no problems I'm right up to the band so I'm going to take the band off now for it burns that comes right off got about 
three quarters of an inch of ash on there. As I was hoping. Another change in the flavor profile. It's remained the medium. Toward the, the end here, it's gotten a little stronger, which is to be expected from a All the Hero cigar. An All the Hero cigar. Um, you might expect to be strong and spicy all the way through, but this this has a nice complexity to it and a smoothness. The, the tobaccos that were chosen for this uh, made a very smooth blend with nice flavors. And I like the cedar tapered off and was replaced with the uh, black coffee flavor that, that it started with. Uh, the nuttiness is gone as well, but that white pepper spice is, is still there. It's nice on the finish. It sits on your tongue. Nice trademark of the hero is the is that spice. Not too strong. It's a good pleasant cigar. This is something that as someone who generally smokes mild to medium cigars could smoke this without too much problem. Uh, once you get past that initial blast of spice when you first light it up, uh, it, it mellows out to a nice medium, very flavorful blend. Really good tasting cigar. Really good burn. Not a razor sharp burn, but uh, didn't require any touch ups. So it was rolled well, well constructed. Still no heat at this point. There's no residue. Uh, occasionally you'll get some tar buildup from a, a torpedo which is why I cut it a little bit deeper but you have to watch out that you don't cut it too deep because then it may it may start to unravel on you and you don't want that but all in all Swag Puro Dominicano this is the 6.5 by 52 Fierce I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 great cigar very nice pleasant smoke uh, Time-wise, I'm about, probably about an hour, hour, ten minutes into this, maybe hour fifteen. I'm going to smoke it for probably at least another inch or so. If you haven't tried Swag, give them a try. They have several varieties. Um, most are in this range of strength as far as... Uh, you know, not being too potent, but still producing a ton of flavor and a good long smoke. But uh, if you like a strong, like I said before, if you like a strong, really peppery, uh, the black, swag black is a good choice. And one of these days I'll get around to getting another one of those and do a review because I, I would like to smoke another one. So... Until next time, thank you for tuning in. I'm Mike Simmons. You're in the cigar area. Uh, check out my other videos on YouTube or on my website, thecigarareria.com. Enter the contest. Until uh, next time, happy smoking.
Wasn't even a rich man, he's just watching this world for free. 